Hello, my name is Asia Hanna and I work for Seton Hill University Setonian as the Arts and Entertainment Editor. I'm going to show you how to upload pictures into Quark. You should have already logged on to the server. After you typed in the password, I hoped you selected Users instead of Setonian. If you didn't, you're going to need to log back out and um, connect to the server again to select the Users instead of Setonian. If you, and then we have the user screen up. This is the time that you will scroll down and select Cetonian. Um, then from there you want to go into Documents and choose the proper um, heading, which is Fall 2010 for this issue, and then the proper issue. And for here, you'll probably see Arts and Entertainment, um, a couple other folders, I'll show you in this one. But what you're looking for to input would be the layout. There should only ever be one layout to choose from. And when you save, you will save back to this same um, format. That way we don't confuse anybody else. It'll take a while to pull up, so just bear with, uh, with me. Um, if you see anything pop, uh, pop up like it has here, um, just click whatever will take you to the um, page. Make sure while you're um, waiting for um, everything to load that you have asked your photo editor or the section editor or the editor-in-chief which photos you're supposed to use and that those photos are grayscaled um, according to our style. That way you don't have to um, go in search of it or realize as you input it because we can't print in color. We only print, print in black and white. Now the screen is up. What you'll want to do is you'll want to look for boxes like this and you'll want to know which, your, which article you're trying to input. Uh, many times this will already be mostly laid out so you'll know which article you're looking for here. Um, I'm just going to insert a random picture to show you how to do it. Um, you click on the box and then, and then you click import picture. And you go back to uh, where you were looking for the proper issue. Since the fall um, issue 3 doesn't have any pictures in it yet, I'm just going to go to um, fall issue 2. Uh, and you'll click the photos. And then you'll look for which ones are grayscaled. And that's easy to find because this will show you a grayscaled photo. So you select the proper photo. And then you click open. And then it will import the photo for you. Um, to move the picture, let's say the picture is not centered like you want it, you have to make sure you're selected on, um, uh, on the hand selection. There's another selection you can't see outside of this um, recording, and it's a compass. Um, for that, if you click the compass, it will move the whole box, see? And so you probably don't want to do that. If the picture like this picture is too big, uh, there is no, once you put it in here, you can't resize it. So what you'll want to do is go to uh, Photoshop or uh, GIMP and resize it there. To do that, you will go to, um, you will find the X and Y, and let me see if I can pull the bar down. Here, this bar you can probably see now, and you'll go and you'll find the um, width and height and record these so that you can make them these measurements. Okay, thank you.